Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here, my name's Lainey. Today we're gonna do a video that I filmed already yesterday, but I was so tired yesterday. I was talking so slow, like I am right now, and tripping over my words, and it was just so bad that I'm refilming it today. But I'm gonna do the best fashion advice you've ever received. I had you guys submit answers on Instagram, so we'll be reading from that, and a lot of them are from me and from my old videos which I thought was fun too, just to kind of have one video where all like fashion advice can live. And if you're feeling slumped or like you're bored or frustrated, overwhelmed with fashion. Also what I wanted to say is there's a lot in this. So I want to do another video where we pick like maybe top 10 in the comments, leave your top three, and then I can like actually try them out on VOD with my clothes. Before we get into this video too, I want to say thank you so much to Bloom for sponsoring this video. I've got my greens. This is a new flavor, it's strawberry kiwi, and I really like it. It tastes like um, a Capri Sun. It's hard for me to even eat a nutritious meal. Taking care of a baby. Okay, let's get into it. First one, neutrals are not just black, white, and tan. They can be stripes, navy, leopard, etc. Neutrals are so personal, and it depends what's in your closet and what works with everything in your wardrobe. Because for me, like tan, I, I have a hard time pairing tan with my clothes that I already wear because I wear more like black and gray. So tan would be hard for me, but what I've realized is a neutral in my closet is obviously gray, but also like burgundy I'm so into right now, and I find a way to incorporate it into any outfit. Leopard, I've been saying that for so long. Leopard's a neutral. Next thing, stay in your fashion comfort zone. This one is something that I've said a million times. Not sure if, I'm sure other people have said it. Um, back in like 2020, I was filming these videos dressing outside of my comfort zone for a week and I was putting these outfits together and I was realizing that I wasn't even really liking them. They were uncomfortable. I was not acting like myself in them, you know, just not good things coming from the clothes I was wearing. So they were definitely more out there than like the pieces that I tended to wear before, which were like crewnecks, baggy jeans, you know, sneakers, just comfy clothes. And I realized that like, that's my style. Going out of your comfort zone is just doing things that make you uncomfortable that aren't yourself. So no reason for fashion at least to ever go outside your comfort zone. Cause you can like things and not want to wear it. If you guys, I'm going to put a clip of me, what I looked like yesterday filming this video. It is too freaking funny. Cause I just looked like absolute death. And then yesterday my mom and Brandon teamed up to take care of baby. And I got to take a three hour nap and like, I feel like a new woman. Okay. The thing is and never care about the situation, the outfit and others. You need to care about stairs, question mark, paved streets. I love this about asking questions, what you're wearing before you go someplace, not to care about what other people are gonna think about you, not to care about the dress code of the situation. And I know that's like give or take, but to care more about what are you gonna be comfortable in. Can you walk in stairs? Uh, can you walk in cobblestones? Can you sit down comfortably in what you're gonna wear? Can you stand a long time in what you're gonna wear? Can you dance in what you're gonna wear? Could you like lift your arms up and bring them down? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I love that. I think that that's so much more important than, yeah, what the people or that kind of stuff. Next thing we have, if you don't look back at your outfit and think, WGF was I wearing, you're not having fun. I always say this, that it's okay to look back in a year and you were dressing trendy and be like, ew, what the heck? You were having fun, you were trying out new things. Why do we have to always like our old outfits? Especially like looking back at our parents or grandparents' old pictures um, and seeing like the stuff that they would wear then. Some of it is cool now and you can appreciate it or think like I would wear that. And some of it you're like, what the heck were you wearing? And that's what makes it fun. Like looking back at old pictures or looking at how your parents used to dress you, all that kind of stuff. I'm all for dressing for the eras, for the time period. If everyone likes what you're wearing, it's boring. 1000%. Um, I always get comments on my channel where people are like, what the heck? Like this is not it. And that's how I know I'm doing something. <laughs> if everybody likes my outfits, I it's just, boring. There's nothing fun about that. I like to dress for myself, so that's okay if other people don't like it. The most sustainable clothes are the pieces you already have. Love this. Can't say anything else about it. Even thrifting, that's not as sustainable as just wearing what's already in your closet. I try to practice this, but I do like to thrift. Try everything until you find what you love and never stop experimenting to find your style. I love this. This isn't necessarily even mean like going out of your comfort zone. It's just trying new cuts, new colors and aesthetics, whatever. I think that's so fun. Um, like I keep saying the burgundy thing, 
I never would have considered myself to like burgundy and I thrift a little purse and I've been wearing it all the time and that's experimenting and I love it. Yeah, experimenting doesn't have to be crazy. It doesn't have to be, I'm gonna wear the shorter shorts in the world um, and that's experimenting with fashion. It can literally be trying a new color. Like, oh, I always wear white. I'm gonna try wear black and you might hate it and then just don't do it again. <laughs> never wear something if it's itchy, 10,000%. If I, I never buy something if it's itchy. Even if it's the cutest thing in the world, you're not gonna wear it. Wrong shoe theory. So yesterday I had to look this up because I didn't know what it was. My friend Casey submitted this one. It's basically just picking the wrong shoe for what you're wearing, the unexpected shoe. So yesterday I was wearing my Peachy Den Mimis and I was saying they're more like of a track style uh, hiking pant, jogger. And the shoe I wanna pair with those is a ballet flat. And that is definitely wrong shoe theory because you would think to pair like a hiking shoe or a sneaker with it. And I think the wrong shoe theory, I love it so much because you can wear more like gear or maybe even like performance clothing. I don't know what to call it. And you can get away with it in day to day because you dress it for everyday wear. There's a way to wear everything every day and wrong shoe theory is a way to do it. So I love that. And then it would be the same thing where if I'm wearing a maxi skirt that you would think is supposed to be really elegant and dressy, pair it with a thick chunky sneaker or even a samba, a sneaker, good call Casey. Love wrong shoe theory. Do I think you always have to do it? No, but I think all these things are ways to kind of get yourself out of like an outfit rut. Like if you have your four outfits you wear all the time and you just want to wear something different, think of one of these things and try it out and maybe you'll come out with a cool outfit that ends up being a favorite. Think about the effect you want to give off. I've realized I'd rather feel cool than pretty. I love this so much. And I think you can switch it up all the time where you're dressing for, again, the effect you want to get up off. And this could even be like, do I want to look fun or do I want to look professional? Do I want to look hot or do I want to look cute? Because in those ways, you really can't look both. Do I want to look hot or do I want to look professional? Like you gotta choose one. And I agree that it will give off an effect. I love that. It doesn't look bad. You're just not used to seeing it on your body. I love this one so much because I think of how I talk about how I'm not really into a platform sneaker and this one irks people so bad. They're like, but I love a platform sneaker. They're the only things that look good on me. I think we're used to seeing a platform sneaker now and especially transitioning from a platform sneaker to a low profile shoe can be hard because a platform sneaker has the effect of making your legs look skinnier. It's a big chunky shoe at the bottom of your leg. Your ankle's gonna look smaller. It might even like elongate your legs and I'm not saying anything is wrong with those things that's what it does and switching to a low profile sneaker it might make your legs look shorter or it might make your legs look wider even though they're not and it's not that it looks bad you're just not used to seeing it that way anymore yeah and I'm all for not dressing just to like look the tall and prettiest and skinniest and I'm more dressing because I like the clothes. I love that one so much. Iron and steam everything. I love this one too. Do I do it? No. Yell at me in the comments. Fix your posture. Too many fits are ruined by me slouching. 10,000%. This is again something I was talking about yesterday. I always think of like dancers look good in anything or even models, but I think growing up being a dancer, I, I imagine how my dance teachers would walk with, you know, the best posture ever and like so elegant and poised, chin up. They just knew how to position their bodies to look good in everything. I also think this way with Adriana, Adrian, my friend on TikTok, you guys definitely know her. She can wear anything and make it look good. And I swear it has to do with the fact that she was a dancer, is a dancer, and she has that poise, she has that elegance and that confidence to just look good in anything. She also just has really good outfits too though, but. Okay, sandwiching methoding or layering advice. Wait, did I say methoding? Sandwich method. So I looked this one up yesterday too, and it's basically just what you would think it would be, sandwiching your pieces. So it can be with color, fabric, or fit. So you could do like a black top, a white bottom, and then black shoes because it's black, white, black. Um, and then you could do it with like baggy, tight, baggy, or tight, baggy, tight. So like a tight tank top, a baggy jean, and then a samba because it's a tighter shoe. I think it's fine. I don't think you have to live by that rule. I am a baggy, baggy, baggy type of girl, but it's a fun one to think about if you're struggling again with putting on your clothes, putting together an outfit. I don't like to purchase identical pieces, 
but take inspiration from the overall style slash outfit. I love this so much. I've said this a thousand times on my channel. When you're being influenced to buy something, don't buy the one everyone has from the exact site everyone and their mother is getting it from or the dupe. Try and find a similar thrifted version, whether it's the cut, the color, uh, just the feel of what is trending, and you're gonna like it for way longer because you're not gonna see your version all over the internet over and over and over or in real life. I never see things like that in real life though. So on the internet and it'll just be more sentimental to you feel more personal like your style not like something you were copying this person said that i don't have to wear only clothes that flatter my figure and they said you gave that advice of course i still can't read i live by this every single day i do live by this fashion rule i rarely dress to show off my assets whatever somebody might think that is because what one person thinks my assets are aren't what I think my assets are. Um, I just dress because I like the clothes, not because they fit my body well. Anything, I like ill-fitting clothing the best. Okay, next. If you wouldn't consider buying it from a regular store, don't thrift it. This one, it's hard because you're like, oh, it's such a good find. And this kind of goes in with this, but um, if you're like looking for something at the thrift store, Say I'm looking for a blue sweater and I find one at the thrift I've been looking for so long and it's almost perfect and I think, okay, well, I'm gonna thrift this blue sweater and then when I come across the perfect one, I'll thrift that one or whatever. Or I think this is the best I'm gonna find it. So I thrift the one that's mediocre, not perfect. Then I never end up wearing it because it's not what I wanted. It's not exactly right. It sits in my closet and then I'm at the thrift store. I find the perfect one, but I think, oh, I have a blue sweater and I don't even wear it because I don't like it. Why would I want another one? So always just spend the time to look for the perfect one or if that means spending a little bit extra money to find one you know on Poshmark whatnot Depop whatever do it that way also because you'll end up wearing it and it'll be cheaper in the long run you don't have to stick to one aesthetic and this person said it's from me also I love this making a cocktail of all the different aesthetics you like and it creates your own personal style you can't go wrong with it we've got some more because you guys had so many good ones never wear more than three different colors black and white included I don't agree with this one at all but I think we're getting into ones right now where I want to try this out. I want to put an outfit on with just three colors and then put an outfit on with five colors and we'll see which one looks different if one, or which one looks better, if one really does look more put together or not. So that's what I want to try out. Trying to make yourself look the most skinny slash snatched possible is ruining your outfit. I love this one so much because I couldn't agree with anything more. I can tell, okay, that sounds wrong. For me, I can tell when I used to put on outfits and you know, it was I was trying to wear everything tight because I felt skinny or I thought it made, you know, my boobs look good, whatever. And the outfits were not giving. <laughs> they were just literally to look skinny or to look boobalicious or to, <laughs> to look whatever, like you have a big butt, whatever you want to say it is. And now I just dress to, what would it even be? I don't know. But that's not something that matters to me and my outfits look so much better. So yeah, you don't always have to look as skinny as you can. Um, things don't have to always be flattering. And why does flattering mean skinny? Good hair day equals good outfit. I talked about this in my last video. You're gonna see if I put the clip in of me filming this yesterday. My hair was literally disgusting and I couldn't even edit the video because I looked so bad. Um, and now my hair looks a little better, I think. I just got it chopped so it gives a little bit Willy Wonka. I was able to like get dressed today and put on a cuter shirt because I just felt cuter already <laughs> with my hair. And I talked about this in my last video. My bangs literally make every single outfit and I swear by that. Don't dress your age, dress yourself. I love it. Just universal good advice. Wear your clothes at home so when you wear it out, you're comfortable. And this is by Bliss Foster, they said. Love this quote. I think this is my favorite quote of all time. If you're not getting dressed at home alone or on the weekends, when you're not doing anything, if you're not putting on your more occasion out or occasion pieces or fancier pieces, you're gonna feel uncomfortable when you have to wear them out in public. And uh, yeah, just dress for yourself, dress at home, have fun styling an outfit. I know it can be hard. It's literally hard for me. Put on real clothes because I'm just like watching a baby all day and I'm not going anywhere. So what does it matter if I put on something cute? But then when I do have to get dressed, I just feel weird. So I love this one so much. Even like down to shoes, I know people aren't shoe in the house people but maybe to like the grocery store instead of just putting on your sneakers put on a loafer instead of putting on your uggs put on a riding boot i don't know or even a heeled booty at the grocery store like 
that's not that crazy. If it doesn't make you feel like dancing in the dressing room, don't buy it. I love this so much because I feel like you guys have watched my videos and when I do a try on like thrift haul, if I put on, you know, a piece and I'm dancing around in it, you know you're gonna see me in that piece a thousand times more than any of the other pieces that I'm just like posing in, so. Every time you're about to leave the house, put on one more accessory. Winky face, this because I said this. Uh, there's a Coco Chanel quote that says, you, before you leave the house, take one accessory off. And I said, do the opposite because I am just an accessory girl and I think they make outfits look better. Whether that's a, a bracelet, another earring, necklaces, rings, belts, scarf, hat, whatever, put another one on. This person said, leave one thing undone. And then they said, it's the justification of never brushing their hair. I think that's so funny, but I would like to try this because I wanna see like, how else would you do leave one thing undone besides just not doing your hair. Eight point outfit. This one was really not confusing to me. It was, it's just like uh, a lot going on to think about. So the gist of it, cause I read it yesterday, is that everything in your wardrobe is, assigned a point so there's a point system so something that's more basic say like a white t-shirt would be one point or just a pair of blue jeans is one point and then something more extravagant maybe you have a pink sweater it would be two points and as you add everything up your whole outfit should only equal equal to eight points i want to try this one out because it seems annoying and hard I feel like that would be a good one if you're trying to put an outfit together for like a wedding or a big occasion and you're actually like you know, planning the outfit beforehand, not just like getting dressed every day. Because if you're like, okay, well I have this dress, I don't know what shoes and what bag to pair with it, you would do the eight point system. Nothing is timeless. This one I've said a million times. But the way I just explained it is that a, yes, a, t a white t-shirt and jeans are timeless, but the cut of them isn't, the color of them isn't, um, how you style them isn't, all that stuff. So nothing's timeless. This person just said, IDK, probably something you said. This person said, take off the last thing you put on, the Coco Chanel quote. So I just love that your best fashion advice can be something polar opposite to somebody else because fashion is so personal and I don't know. It just made me happy to like give both sides of the spectrum for that one. If you feel uncomfortable, you're going to look uncomfortable. A thousand percent. And that doesn't just mean like it's too short, it's itchy, it's too tight if you're just like not comfortable in the color and you're like trying to hide it or you're showing off more than you're used to um if your feet hurt <laughs> any of that kind of stuff you'll look uncomfortable hair is an accessory yes don't forget to do your hair unless you're doing the undone rule but your hair really can make or break an outfit and so like i get a bad haircut so bad i literally did not like my hair up until i got bangs my hairline was just bad all the time because I have a colic up here. I just have never liked my hair. I was always slicking it back. And now since getting bangs, I love my hair. It makes my outfits instead of breaks my outfits. I have to go to swim lessons soon with Lucy, so let's get going. Coordinate, don't match. I love this so much and it's something that I actually do practice. Is that the right word? But I think of when people say to match your shoes to your bag, and I hate that rule. I try to never match my shoes to my bag because I dislike it so much but I do coordinate my shoes to my bag. I don't just put on whatever shoes and forget what shoes I'm wearing and grab a bag. I will always look at my shoes and think what bag goes with these shoes, but doesn't match. And I think that can be applied to other places as well. I just already apply it there. Always add a little bit of red, a purse, necklace, ring, lipstick, shoes. I like this one. Again, I keep saying I'm into burgundy and I would like to try this out. One outfit, one outfit, sand red, one outfit with red. This person said to casually wear your nice pieces. It goes with being comfortable in them and uh, why do we have to save our nice pieces for an occasion? Wear them all the time. Like to your baby swim practice. Wear it three times before cropping or cutting a garment. I love this one so much as well. It really gives you the time to decide if you actually want to crop, cut, alter, whatever you're gonna do to the piece uh, or if you're gonna wear it as is. This is something Brandon definitely does. If I like buy something and then I say I'm gonna alter it or even like a piece of furniture, paint it, fix it, whatever. He's like, let's just like live with it as is for now. And then we'll decide later if we still want to change it. And sometimes I'm like, but I already know I want to do it. Like I want to, but he's right. And that was the last one. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really happy that I refilmed it because yesterday was just awful. Uh, thank you again to Bloom for sponsoring this video. You can use the link in the description box to shop Bloom. And I'm gonna be coming out with, I wanna do a second part to this one of where I tried the outfits. I'm coming out with a workwear video finally. You guys have requested it enough. I just don't like workwear outfits. So it'll be fun. We're gonna figure it out together. And then, oh, AI styling I have coming out. 
I have somebody styling me coming. I have other ones, but I have a lot of fun videos coming up. Um, I feel like I'm starting to like slowly be able to figure out working while being a mom. And yeah, I love you guys the absolute most. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I'm gonna go swim crack. Swim practice, bye. <laughs>